So we learn about Dom, and I told you earlier that the sax versus Dom, the main difference is sax has built-in events, which we call to do a certain job, and Dom is a totally different approach where you have to traverse through the whole list. So let's create a new class. We're going to call this one read XML using sax which is simple API for XML. So we have a try catch block. So instead of the factory that we were using before, we were using the document builder factory. Now we're going to use the SAX parser factory. Similarly, instead of using document builder, we will now going to use SAX parser. And as I said earlier, that we have event handling here. Therefore, we will going to use an object of default handler class. Who are going to write this body of handling any kind of events? So all the start element, end element, all the events, character, everything will going to be staying here within default handler's body. From the XML document, we have our first name, we have our last name, and we have our score. So we're going to create some Boolean variables here. So we have Boolean first name, Boolean last name, and Boolean score, all set to false. Now, when we start reading an element, this is a built-in function start element, and it requires the following objects. Now one of the beauties of this approach is that if you want to grab any element name like start element, you can simply call upon the parameter Q name and it will tell you the name of the element that you're grabbing. Now what we're going to uh, do here inside is that if the name of the qualified element equals first name then we would like the boolean variable for first name to be set to true because we really want to work with it and we're going to do the same for last name and we're going to do the same for the score So this is the start element's job, this is what he's doing. Now very similar to this, we're going to have our end element. And we'll just simply display that the following element is coming to end. Next we will go to code public void characters.
Now, we would only like to read the value of those elements whose names are first name, last name, and score. So if the Boolean F name, then system.out.println first name new string ch start length and set it to false and we're going to repeat the same thing for l name on oh, sorry b b l name and we're going to repeat the same for b score So now, after doing all this, if you try to run this, what happens? Hmm? What do you get? Nothing. Why? Because we never connected to the XML document. See, there is no reference to the XML document. We just build this whole hierarchy without talking to the XML document. So right after, uh, before closing, uh, sorry, right after closing the handler, we're going to call upon our sax parser, and we're going to say, okay, I want you to parse students.xml document and I want you to handle using this handle that I've created up here. So this will be my handler. Okay, so let me run it again. Here you go. Better output. So we have start, first name, and first name. So it actually reads in sequence. Start, data, and start, data, and. And every time it starts, it is done with one student, it ends the student and then reads the next student. So you can see the hierarchy of how it is being read. A different approach than DOM. Did we use any loops here? Any node list? No, no, you don't have to do any of that. It automatically, the handler will automatically handle the events.